I'm learning more about being a parent with these children than I did with our three own children. We're not the children's parents, nor would we want them to think we were their parents. But we are so close to them that we're not their grandparents in that usual distance role either. Uh, James uh, said to Ginny just the other day, are you my mommy? He's talking more and more about her, even though he didn't have language when she died. But it's, that's what's so interesting about this, you know, that theory of children learning language in order to tell the stories that are already in them. He, he proved it. I'm smart enough and entertaining enough to be a, 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 a lovable presence for the children. If they were both given, if they were all three given sodium pentothal and they're saying, in a pinch, who are you going to go to? I'd be the dead last. You know? uh, would you place in above the nanny? Uh, I, I wouldn't even come close to the nanny. <laughs> My Ginny had Bubby's out playing for three hours. And three hours. And um, it, it was time for dinner. And she said, uh, all right, James, it's time to come in to to eat. He says, no, of course. Um, she said, five more minutes. Five minutes means nothing to him. Takes him in, and he is livid. And he stands with his back to the wall next to the place where he eats, and he will not sit down, and he lets us have it for another 20 minutes. Bad, Papa, bad, bad, me, me, bad. You know, and, uh, he's two and a half years old. He's just, just leveling us, you know, um, and crying and screaming the, the, of having committed the great crime of wanting to give him dinner. <laughs> so, uh, finally, I said, look, Bubs, um, uh, just just sit and eat. So we grudgingly he does that, but you can see he's still smoldering. And <laughs> I said after a while, you know, James, I love you very much. He says, I love you too, Bobo. And Ginny, from the corner of the kitchen, says, and I love you, James. And he looks at her and says, you don't love me. <laughs> <laughs> Making toast, I realized I was doing it every morning, was more than making toast. But I was very careful with it. I was making toast the way one wrote a paragraph or a sentence. I buttered the toast exceptionally well. And it was more than somebody just doing what he could, although doing what one can is very important in life. And it was, also, it was a symbol of um, starting another day. Just the idea of moving forward takes enormous strength. You've known it in your own lives, and we now know it in ours. When somebody dies, the only true memorialization is memory. So a writer has an advantage over others in that you can translate it into words for others. And so it is a good portrait of Amy. It's, it's about as complete a portrait of Amy as one could ever have. I'd much rather have her than the portrait, but um, when I looked over the thing, I couldn't think of anything, of any aspect of her life um, the tenderness, the causticness, the, the, uh, the intelligence, the, the, the general smarts um, that, she, uh, that she had. She was really a remarkable person.